Hey there guys, Eric with Project DIY here today. We're going to show you guys how to calculate the lumens so you know how many lights you need in a building or barn, whatever you have going. Pretty simple, but most people really don't know what you're supposed to have. So I'm going to show you guys how to figure that up and what you need. All right, here we're going to show you guys how to figure up lumens. Lumens is how bright something is. It's recommended you have eight lumens per cubic feet. So I'm going to be saying, oh, I don't know how to figure cubic feet. Well, I want to show you how to figure that. I want to use my barn for an instance. My barn here is, I'm going to use my phone here to calculate and I'll show you what I got going. It's 32 feet wide, about 40 feet long. It has nine foot ceilings. And then you times that by eight for the eight lumens. So the, the 32 by 40, that's your length and your width, your height, is nine foot so that gives you the cubic feet right there so that if you just did those three that would give me eleven thousand five hundred and twenty cubic feet then you times that if it's recommended for eight lumens per cubic feet then you want to times that by eight that gives me ninety two thousand one hundred sixty out here these lights that I've used are ten thousand nine hundred forty four lumens so I'm gonna divide that ninety two thousand one hundred sixty Divide that by 10,944. That's what each light, the lumens it puts out. And I push equals and that's equals to 8.42. So it's saying based off what they're recommending, how bright you want it, I need basically eight and a half. Well, I can't cut one in half. So that's just, you can go with eight or nine. Me, the layout of mine, the way it went, I have the garage is split right down the middle by the the floor joists to have a beam carry and everything so I split mine up into two sides I ended up putting six on one side six on the other so I have a little bit more than what they're really recommending but at the same time I like my spaces nice and bright when I turn the lights on I want to be able to see what I'm doing and not you know it's not blinding it's not blinding in here I don't get blinded when you turn the light on but at the same time I don't want to be able to trying to do something you can't see what you're doing so that's just the way I did mine because it laid out better but it's still it's plenty bright and but it's not too bright. So what you want to do, recap, you got your length of your building, your width of your building, and the height of your building or room, whatever you're doing. That gives you the cubic feet of that building. And then you want to times that number by eight because that is the recommended lumens per cubic feet. So when you get that number, then you divide that number, whatever it is, by however many the light fixture you want to put in however many lumens it says it puts off and that will tell you the recommended how many of those needs whether it's a bulb or a light or whatever it is it will tell you the recommendation of how many you need that doesn't mean you have to do that but it gives you something at least to go by because sometimes you're doing a remodel if you get in there and you're like i don't know how many lights to put in here well this here at least can give you an idea because you want to go and wire all that up and have your drywall up you've ran your cords and all that fun stuff and then you get in there and you're like, oh, this is this is way too bright. Or you get in there and it's, this is this is not even going to be close. It feels like I'm in a dungeon. So that gives you an idea of how to figure that out. And that way you can uh, get it right the first time and not have to do it again. So if you would, please subscribe and give us some likes. We appreciate it. Thank you for listening. Hopefully this helped you out figure out some, uh, some of the, the lumens issue that you may be having in the brightness so that way you can get it correct. Thanks.